So I just said, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I was doing today. I got an email and said, Nikki, you need to show up and tell a story. So first, shout out to 50. I turned 50. I think I grew up when I turned 47. Right? So I'm happy to turn 50. I've really been having hot flashes, and I'm trying to figure out why was I driving? I started sweating profusely, and my 14 year old was like, Mom, I said, No, I think I'm dying. So, um, so shout out to everybody who's been through menopause. So, um, <laughs> and still going through menopause. Um, so, my story is about thriving. I always say, Don't judge a book by its cover. Um, I'm going to tell a story about myself, my husband, and my six kids. Three, we had daughters first, and then we had three sons. We definitely have the Brady Bunch. Um, one of them, if I had one child at that time, I would have had no. He was the child that I put on. If you ever see the Goodyear commercial and see a little child hanging on the side, that was my son. So, and he's the fifth child, and he's 22 at Westchester. And every time I see him, because he's so calm, I'd be like, I just need to put you out right now. So, um, so that's my story. So, I was a young mom, um, 17 years old, when I became pregnant. I said that... Um, you know, me and my husband were in fifth grade together. Our fifth grade principal now at one of the schools said, they set us up. I said, no, I didn't like him. He was a knucklehead. He used to steal my flute when I was younger. Um, so that story led us to a story that we were really poor growing up. And, um, but we, were, we had a wonderful work ethic. Um, I always say that if you believe in yourself and believe that you can conquer anything, it's possible. So uh, me and my, my, my husband, I say that we were nomads, uh, just trying to find some space together. And we grew up in a very hard community where there was a lot of violence and things like that, but we thrived. Part of that thrive is the fact that I had a child every two years. And um, after the third child, I said, you know, when you're asleep, I'm going to put a GPS in you because I need to know where you are all the time. And he looks at me and says, Nikki, I think so. So you never know. So um, being as though we were really young parents, we, had, um, we have five children as adults. So when I turned about 38, I was kind of mad that I was feeling really sick because I had uh, a bunch of kids at five, 27 at five. So when I turned 37, I said, you know, I'm feeling really sick. And my husband said, well, what's wrong? I said, it's you, dude. So I found out that I was pregnant. So now I have a 14-year-old who's kind of looking at us like, Mom, you know I love you. And I said, dude, when are you going to move out, right? I mean, I, I, need, I think you need a job. So um, going through life and coming through a welfare to work program, um, did, had some college background. But I always believe, again, if you believe that you can achieve anything, you can. So I started work at United Healthcare so many years ago, and I came through a welfare to work program. And about uh, a year and a half, I said, dude, this is nice, but I've learned everything I can. So I left, I worked there for about 15 years, did a lot of work. I was part of the Women's March, okay? Can we give it out for the Men's March? So I was one of seven women who put the Women's March on for four years in a row. And I really felt myself in that. I mean, we had 100,000 women on the first march, and we consistently did this for four years so that now that I have two granddaughters, I can say, your, your grandmother is written in history. She doesn't call me grandma, she calls me sugar. She said, because you used to call me sugar plum, she's my sugar. So that's a whole other story. But, you know, working hard and having ethic, I decided, didn't know we were in a pandemic, Okay, in 2020, December 31st, apparently the world was shutting down and I didn't know it. So I decided to start my own business and to start my own nonprofit. Why? Because I thought health disparities was really important. And I thought it was important to kind of really dovetail into a subject matter when people were becoming depressed, people were home, they didn't understand why was the world shutting down. So I'm so excited to now be one of the only African-American women that have a public health management company that helps public relation, public health entities and your big health systems kind of manage between that and those they serve. So through life, I find that thriving is really important, believing in that whatever you can achieve in your mind and whatever you want to do, it can change the world. I have been a person that my company have been known in Brazil and Bulgaria and all these wonderful places I always tell people that you are your best, your best brand and your greatest brand. It's important that you don't let your stigmas and things that people say that you are dictate who you are, right? 
So it has been a, a beautiful journey. I, I wish my 22 year would leave my home, but you know, he's still there at Westchester. You know, I'm like, dude, why are you here? Mom, we're in the middle of a pandemic and I don't think I need to move out. I'm not grown. Dude, you're 22. I need you to leave, but you know, we're not kicking him out. But I just want to say is when you believe in something that you can do, it doesn't matter your situation. It doesn't matter who you are. I have stood between 100,000 women and, and watched how a movement of change can change the entire world, right? I have watched so many people change their lives who believed in themselves and not be judged by what it looks like. I always tell people, we are going through a human experience. 20 years down the line, people are gonna to wanna to interview us and say, how did you make it through a pandemic? It was by connecting with one another. It was by story slams. It was by things that we did to come together to see that we are here together. And there is nothing that we can do to take that away. And there is always an opportunity to thrive and grow. So thank you.